Hey, thank you very much for involving me in this very inspirational session. I must say that everybody has said something to me that has inspired not only me as a person, but I think the future is quite bright. So to directly answer your question, I see five things. From Alexander's presentation, I think it's clear that everybody matters, that's one. And two, that climate issues disproportionately affect the youth. And therefore the most important thing is youth involvement in climate. And I'll mention this when I get to Tumi, but you're not future leaders, you're young leaders. So take whatever opportunities come your way, please take them and I'm really glad to be there. That's the first thing, that participation in not just decision-making, but take action where you are. From Gamid, um, I think what I thought was fundamentally important is communicating climate language in a way that people would understand. I saw on one of his slides, one, there was audiovisual stuff, and two, there was stuff in Swahili. So I think one of the things that has been disconnected is that what we call in climate taxonomy, the language and nomenclature is so far removed from the ground that I think we need to see more on the ground, easy to understand climate communication. When it comes to Mora, I, I loved your presentation. And I think one of the things that I thought was quite inspiring from it is that climate has an impact on various things. So number one, whether you're talking about health, women, and so on, it's important to get the nuance. And I'm glad to see that young people are beginning to see that climate is not just about rain and floods, is that it affects our daily living. Um, and the other thing that I'd like to say as well is from Maura's presentation and pictures, Africa is normally seen to be poor. You know, we don't have the political infrastructure. We don't have the money. But one thing we have that works for us as Africans is the social capital. And so what we need in terms of infrastructure is to harness, you know, legal, social, political, economic, and physical infrastructure to deal with the climate. And I'm really glad to see that the youth are doing it. And for Tumi, I mean, there are two things from your presentation that I really liked. Do not wait for an opportune time. No one has done great things when they thought that there'd be a leader in future. When I was growing up, unlike you, you used to be asked, what do you want to do when you grow up? So you did not, you haven't waited, you know, to be given an office to, or money or whatever. You've just taken off. And so that's wonderful. But it's really, really important to see that education and getting knowledge will make you better activists. And, you know, finally from um, Amina and, and Shadrach, you know, government, yes, needs to be put to account. So the role of the youth as well is to voice these things and tell the government, look, in Africa, the median age around East Africa, for example, in Kenya, it's 20 years, in Tanzania, it's about 17, in Uganda, it's about 17. And so you're not just the future, you can put pressure on government um, to, basically ensure that climate is top on the agenda. Thank you very much.